Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and now that I'm an air guitar superstar, I need superstar corals for this tank. I mean, the corals on this side of the tank are cool, but they're not superstar cool. So let's take a look online and let's find out what superstar corals actually sell for. Most companies are not gonna provide me with their sales data. It makes sense. This is proprietary information. This is how their business runs. But there is an online company that sells corals that puts all of the sale prices up where everybody can see it, and that's eBay. So let's dig through eBay and we'll look at the most expensive coral that sells and we'll look at it, we'll critique it, and see if it makes its way into the superstar tank. So for eBay, to find all of this information out, basically I went to Live Coral, I set up the advanced search to show sold items, and that's really all we have to do. And I also sorted by price from highest first. Now you can see a lot of these, they have a price with a line slash through it. These are offers that were accepted. So we're gonna skip those because, well, $2,000 for a Colorado Sunburst sounds expensive, and it is. We don't know exactly what that sold for. So we're gonna find corals that actually sold. So the first one we're coming across is the Cornbread Rainbow Splice Millie. Let's check this thing out. This thing went for crazy money, $1,075, and it was on a bid. It sold on December 15th, and the frag, it looks way cool. I don't know about you guys, I don't make enough money to justify $1,075 for that frag, but when we pull up this colony, or this, let's call it bigger frag, this thing's incredible. I see why somebody wants that in their life. I personally can't justify that even with superstar money, especially considering acros love to change colors. But yeah, I see why this is such a high-end coral. And you know what? Acros, they grow fast, they frag fast. I bet you I can get one of these, you know, five, 10 years at a reasonable price. Let's move on. Let's see what else we can find that's cool. We'll scroll, da scroll down. Ooh, carpet anemone in blue. Now, I have not watched the prices of blue carpet anemones lately, but I remember last year we they had one at Reefstock that was a similar size. I don't, don't remember what it sold for, but I wanna say it was in the three to $400 range. Um, I love big carpets. The pinks and the reds are my faves. Blues are cool. So I, I see the love of these. They're super hardy corals. Yeah, this is a really cool coral. Looks like it's maybe in a private seller's tank, hard to tell. But yeah, very cool animal, very, I mean, it's expensive, but $8.99 for something that cool, um, it eat all my fish. But maybe the superstar anemone tank. And remember, this is an actual sale. All right, here we go. Holy Grail Torch. Actual sale price, $860. And it's a great looking coral. We have an exact picture of it. Um, looking at this picture, it really doesn't look doctored or anything. I mean, this looks like a good representation of a Holy Grail. I see the love of the Holy Grails, $860. Mm. Probably not superstar tank for me. I mean, for this kind of money, why am I paying for extra green? I mean, the Holy Grails are gorgeous, but it's a gold torch with extra green in it. I think I'd rather have a full gold. I mean, in my tank, far away, like I usually look at my tank, this coral is gonna look mainly green. All right, all bitching aside, superstar money, let's order it, let's throw it in. All right, moving down the list. All right, Cornbread's Grand Master Krakatoa. One polyp, holy crap, $799. 
these look incredible we got the pink centers we got the green kind of fading to gold yeah those are fluffy one polyp for 800 bucks Ooh. with superstar money though yeah let's throw it in the tank we'll um grow them out and we'll start a krakatoa business yes no i mean it's a crazy amount of money for a single polyp my personal budget I'll let you guys in on a secret. I'm not actually an air guitar multimillionaire. My personal budget these days, no way. I couldn't imagine buying something like that. I mean, it's pink and green. I guarantee you we can find something close to that for a tenth the price. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Let's see what else is on the list. Okay, now we're getting into something pretty cool. The OG Bounce sold for $799. This is a relatively small one, but I do love the OG Bounce. I see why they're just so cool. You've got green and gold or yellow. Anytime you have yellows in a coral, to me, it adds to the value. Some, like Samacora, are super easy and cheap to get. But this, this is special. I love it. $799, these have come way down in price. I wanna say at one point in time, these were like five grand. Now they're 800. I think it'll be reasonably soon before these are a couple hundred bucks. So these are a cool coral. I personally wouldn't invest my own money in it, but I absolutely see why somebody with superstar money wanted to throw one in their superstar tank would spend it because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous coral. And 800 bucks, eh, it's just money. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, interesting. We have Grandmaster Crack. So these look very similar to those Krakatoas that we saw. This is one polyp plus a baby. So we're not seeing the actual picture of it. And these look a little different than the ones we just saw because they look more yellow. And I think that's just the photography. If I was to guess, I would bet that the one we saw before was a little more accurate, but it's just a guess. But yeah, similar price, very cool coral. But yeah, not one I'm personally investing my own personal money in. But if I really was superstar rich, yeah, we'd throw it in the tank. All right, we got a lot of gold torch popping up. Okay, red carpet had not. Ooh, let's find out Houdini. All right, this is cool. I am interested in it. It's not near as bright as some of my scene. And it's $750 which probably explains why it's not as bright as some of these I've seen. Because the really bright ones, I've seen going for more like eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars. But yeah, this is an incredibly nice coral or an enemy that, yeah, definitely should be in a superstar tank. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of carpets. They just, they kind of need their own tank, don't they? All right, here we go. I was expecting to see a lot of these sooner. So, Aussie Gold Torches. These have gone insane in price over the last few years. I'm hoping with Indo being back online and all of that cultured coral coming in that they're gonna start culturing Gold Torch because at these kind of prices, why wouldn't you? But 700 bucks for three heads. You know, we're a little over 200 bucks a head, 233-ish not bad all things considered but i remember four or five years ago these things were 60 80 bucks a head i really should have bought some then but yeah really cool coral um not the best picture in the world of it but you know what i feel like it's an honest picture and if you bought this it'd probably look pretty darn close to this so that's a very cool coral for the money all right Let's keep going down the list. 
All right, we got another rainbow splice. Millie, we'll skip that one, but it is a bit cheaper. Okay, here's one that I personally love. Now this one is going on the Superstar tank and it is one that if I had the money, I would personally buy because I love these orange torches. They're um, gold, but oh, the color on these, it's so incredible. It's so bright and vibrant. It's $655, which is still crazy money for somebody like me, but what an insane coral. This definitely goes in the Superstar tank. Even at $655, this is an amazing coral. All right, let's keep going. Now you guys will find my own personal preferences are gonna be much more towards LPS when it comes to expensive corals. All right, Cornbread's Terminator Acro Frag. This went for 500 bucks. And I really like this. We've got the pinks and the greens. Um, wow, it's a really high price. Personally, I have a problem paying a lot of money for acros because they change colors. You pay all this money for color and no matter how good of a job the company does you're buying from, it can still change colors on you. So I have a hard time personally spending that much money, but you know what? If I was a multimillionaire superstar, I would definitely be interested in something like this because what a beautiful coral. I absolutely love it. It looks like a bigger size colony frag. I mean, this thing is fantastic. I love it. But yeah, little expensive. Let's go down the list. All right, 100 pounds of rock. All right, another rainbow splice, Millie. Okay, here we go. This is way cool. I absolutely love these. All right, any of these rainbow chalices, these really get my juices flowing. You've got so many colors in here. They look beautiful. They're gonna hold their color better than like an acro or something. They're fairly rare, but easy to take care of. $450 for a frag is a lot. I'll admit, but for a coral that looks like that, yeah, that's pretty amazing. I love this. Definitely, I would buy that for the Superstar tank. I mean, wow. Um, yeah, not the best picture in the world. I'd personally like to see something clearer, but knowing how photography works for something like this, holy crap, there's a lot to it. So I'm gonna give these guys plenty of credit. I mean, what I'm seeing here does not look faked. I think what you get in the mail it's probably going to look pretty close to that. All right, let's go back and see what we can find. All right. Okay, so I said I wouldn't be looking at the ones we can't sell, but this rainbow track at less than $450. That is amazing. This is going to be like a one of a kind coral. Yes, rainbow tracks are kind of everywhere, but they're not really fraggable. So this is gonna be really a one-off that you're gonna be the only one with it, and this one is gorgeous. All right, Aussie Gold Shorts, two heads, 425. Not bad, looks like kind of a smaller piece. Okay, we got another OG Bounce. This one looks absolutely tiny, and it's $405. It'll grow out, but yeah, it's tiny. Smaller than a dime, 405 bucks. My luck, it'd blow off the rock and I'd lose it. But for the Superstar tank, like I said before, I love OG bounces. I definitely would get one. All right, let's keep going. Nice little rainbow chalice on there. That looks pretty cool. All right, cornbreads. Mall God's Pallies, 399. It looks like it's two heads. Yeah, really cool coral, but basically the way I look at my tank, I'm gonna be far back. It's gonna be a red speckly thing. I can get really cool coral that's similar to this for a tenth the price. So I'd have a hard time spending that kind of money. I mean, an utter chaos to me is an equivalent coral, if not better looking. Let me pick those up for like 
$10 to $30 a frag. This is really gonna be for the Zoa collector, and if you are one, yeah, it's well worth the money. But for me personally, the way I do a tank, I can't justify that kind of money. It's for a collector or an investor at this kind of money. All right, let's keep going. Cornbread's Tropical Passion Acro. So, 399. And we got some pinks with some really nice polyp extension on there. Very cool coral. Again, 400 for a little acro frag is too rich for my blood, but for a superstar acro tank, I get it. Okay, we got a, another cornbread acro, and they're calling it Rubik's Acro. And it's cool, but basically it's green. 399, basically it's green. Put in the comments what I'm missing here because yeah, it looks cool. We got good polyp extension. We got a cool look to it, but $399 for a green acro? No way, that's insane. I gotta be missing something because that's insane. Okay, 399 for the lemon cake. This at least gets us kind of a yellow hue to it. So that's definitely better. It's a beautiful coral. This is a bigger piece too. Yeah, personally, I'd much rather have this one over the last one we just saw. All right, damn it. I broke everything. Okay, cool. Matt's Rainbow Envy Acro, $399. Okay, now this is much better better. I'd like to see more pictures because we only have the one. Most of your color with an acro is going to be in the tips and we can kind of see that here where we got the purples and the turquoises, but they're focused down low. So I'd like another picture of it, but from what I can see of this, I like these way better than the last two acros. This is absolutely beautiful. $399. It's a confirmed sale. I like it. I like it. I can't afford it, but I like it. I think that's gonna be the theme to this whole episode. I can't afford it, but I like it. All right, Jawbreaker Mushrooms. Ooh, $399. It's a cool Jawbreaker, but I mean, it's orange with a couple of splotches of blue. They're so cool, but at $399, these are crazy money. I hate to tell you guys, if I was betting on a market to crash, it's the drawbreaker market. These just aren't cool enough for $399 to me. There are orange and blue mushrooms out there for like 10, 20, 30 bucks. I mean, Supermans are reasonable these days. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pass on this one. $399, way too much for a jawbreaker. I mean, I know these guys were selling for like 700 recently, but orange with a bit of blue, no. All right, biohazard bounce. $384, and we got yellow polyps. Considering the price of bounces, yeah, I get this one. This one makes more sense to me. The color is there, the coolness is there. I like that way better than the last one. All right, we got another OG bounce for 389. We got more of these Grand Masters for 375. All right, now we're getting into something that I really love. All right, we got Gold Hammer. This appears to be a wall colony. It's way more than what I paid for the one that I used to have but I absolutely love these. They're slow going, slow growing, hard to get. I get this coral. Like if we lose wild imports, this is the kind of stuff that's gonna go away. This coral is one that I think is worth the money. So 370 bucks, we'll throw this in the Superstar tank. The picture looks really decent. I don't think they're lying about anything. This looks good. I like this a lot but we still haven't found what I was hoping to find. 
All right. Ultra Scully, $350. It's a nice Scully, but the greens are kind of pale. You've got some light blues in there with red. It's just an average Scully. I mean, unless they did a terrible job with the photography, it's not that bright. Personally, I think this one's way overpriced. I kind of feel sorry for whoever bought this one because, yeah, I don't really like this one. All right, track, Christmas tree rock. Okay. Flame tip bubble anemone. So high end ROBTA style corals are going for crazy money. This picture looks super saturated and color is everything with these. So for this to justify that $350 price, it better come in looking like this. This is a beautiful anemone, but if I got anything less than this, I'd be a little upset if I was the customer. But if it actually looks like this, this is an amazing anemone. So fingers crossed the person who purchased this that it actually looks that good. All right, Christmas tree rock. Gra Dragon Soul Indo Torch, Euphelia Frag. Okay, this is pretty cool. This one is definitely the Indo style gold torch we were all hoping for. So this is either a very recent import or a very old coral. It appears to be in somebody's tank at $349. I like this coral. I like this coral. Uh, oh, maybe not. What do you want to bet you're getting one of these two little frags? Mm, and seeing what the two little frags look like, I think I'd go for one of those Aussies we saw before. Cool coral, but mm, not, not for the super amazing tank. All right, Ultra Red Australian Ganiapora. I love this stuff. It's reasonably easy to get. This one's really nice. Colors in the pictures look super saturated. Uh, I personally don't trust these pictures. So I hope whoever bought it, it looks this good because holy crap, these pictures bug me. It just looks so saturated and I can see the background, the dark blue to it. I hope it looks this good because even between pictures, there's a lot of color difference and color is everything when you're spending 350 bucks. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is a cooler jawbreaker, but it's 350 and we don't know the real price. Here we go. This is way better than that other jawbreaker we saw before. So I'm not so much against jawbreakers, I'm against boring jawbreakers. And there's a lot of those out there. But you get them branded jawbreaker and they go for stupid money. This is a really cool because you got the reds with the green in there. The picture doesn't look overblown or anything to me. 350 bucks, I like it. I like that a lot. That's a cool coral. And it should grow out um, reasonably well. I, I like these. And we got quite a few jawbreakers in this 350 price. This actually is cool because these used to be like seven. So I like these a lot. I really do like the more mixed color because to me that makes more sense. All right, camera's getting ready to die. So we will cut it here. All right, I'm back. So now let's skip down and let's look at some of the a little less expensive corals. And I'm just gonna cherry pick some of my faves. So this Ultra Scully, this is much cooler in my opinion than the last one. Now this is all strictly down to opinion but I love how bright the red is contrasted with the almost blackish blue and then you have the light blue in there and this picture doesn't look faked or anything. I love this Scully. It's not a perfectly round one which some people are looking for but I see no tissue damage around it or anything. Mm. This is a nice looking coral. I like that coral a lot. Let's continue down a little bit, see what else we can find. 
because there is some pretty amazing stuff on here. Red Sign Arena, this is a tiny one, but Red Sign Arenas have been a little harder to get. $2.99, definitely good for a superstar tank. I love that, but I did peek earlier on and there's one coral that I absolutely love. And that's this coral or cornbreads tangerine hammer. It's one head. So this is a branching hammer. And you look at this kind of pinkish peach in here. And cornbread's pretty well known in the industry, even on eBay. So I'm pretty confident it's gonna look like this. So if you're gonna spend $275 for a branching hammer, to me, this is the one. And don't tell anybody. I take this over a gold torch. I love this. This is sweet. Actually, of all the corals we've seen so far, this is the one I want. The coral I want more than all of these hasn't even popped up yet. I want a big red and orange or orange and white acanthophilia. A little hard to find. So red or orange with the white going through it and those are the bee's knees. <laughs> Love that old reference. But yeah, there we go. This is closer. So we're gonna end with this. This is much closer to what I personally want. It's not perfect, but it's an absolutely beautiful coral. It's kind of got the reddish color to it with the orange or almost gold. This is an amazing acanthophilia. 239 bucks. I like the price on it. It's very reasonable. This is close to what I want but either red or orange with the white in it, that's the one for me. This, good second. All right guys, what did you think of this? We went through, we looked at the super high cost corals. What did you think? Should you buy off of eBay? Honestly, I've never purchased a coral off of eBay. I'm gonna guess it's like everything else on eBay and your experience is gonna be as good as your seller and Honestly, most of the time I've had great luck purchasing stuff on eBay, but just like Amazon, there are scammers, so be careful. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more of these, maybe we'll do them monthly. I had a lot of fun with this. See you on the next one.